The equivocation hitch isn't just a rope trick. Let's discuss how and why we might want to use it to set a rappel. Hello again, I'm Jason. Last week we talked about using tag lines or double ropes to make full rope length rappels. Today we're going to build on that conversation by talking about the equivocation hitch, a rappel setup that can anchor with no gear. You can use the hitch with a single doubled over rope as well. First, let's talk about how to set it up. Once we see what it is, it will make more sense when we discuss why we might want to use it. I'm gonna start by demonstrating with a single bi-patterned rope because it will make it easier to visualize the sequence to tie the hitch. We begin by passing the middle of the rope around our anchor point, making sure when we pull off the hitch, there isn't anything on the anchor to snag upon. While typically used with trees or boulders, you could just as easily use a fixed anchor or the like. We now take a bite from one of the free ends and push it through the loop formed by the middle of the rope. Now we take a bite from the other free strand and push it through the loop you just created with the previous free strand. And we keep alternating strands. I have seen people do as few as three and as many as seven. Regardless of number, the final bite we push through will be the pull strand. We want to make that bite at least 30 centimeters to avoid having it pull through. And we can add a carabiner through the last bite on the pull strand and clip it around the rappel strand as a backup. We would remove the carabiner after everyone has gone down except for the last person. Once we are down, we release the hitch by pulling the pull strand until you feel a pop. Now you switch and pull what was your rappel strand. Another pop. Keep alternating until you have pulled all the loops free. Okay, so now that we have seen it tied, we can apply the same technique to a system with either two ropes or with a tagline. The key here is to identify your propel strand ahead of time as the entire hitch will be tied on that line. So we typically connect our two strands with the flat overhand bent, and you can see a short on how we tie that knot. Now we run the propel strand as a bite around or through our anchor point, leaving some space before the knot joining the ropes so that we have some material to do the threaded bites. The process is the same now, alternating strands as we pull bites through one another until we have a number of loops that makes us relatively comfortable and making absolutely sure that the pull strand is the one making the final 30 centimeter bite loop before we cinch it all down. So those are the two systems using either a single line for a half rope length rappel or two lines for a full rope length rappel. But why would we wanna do this? Here are a few use cases. First, maybe we have a high friction anchor, like a tree, and we're worried that trying to pull many meters of rope up and around the anchor could get it stuck. With the equivocation hitch, we only need to pull a very small amount of rope. Second, maybe we have two damage points in our rope system and we have isolated them with knots. This would demand that we pull a knot up and into the anchor where it could get stuck. With the equivocation hitch, as long as we know how to pass the knot on rappel, we don't have to pull these knots up and through the anchor. Third, the system is gear free, and so it is possible to use if you have burned through your gear at other anchor setups or are conserving gear for many more rappels. The fourth possible reason to use the equivocation hitch. It might make sense for a team of two who are moving over varied terrain, are tied in at each end of the rope, and come to what has to be a short rappel. You don't have to untie with this method as you only need access to the middle of the rope to set it up. Fifth, if you have concerns about limiting environmental damage and so want to pull and drag as little rope as possible, the equivocation hitch might be the solution. That being said, there are major downsides to this technique. You are pulling down a loop of rope so it can easily get snagged on terrain features and it exposes the final person to a rappel that lacks redundancy. You better do it right. The equivocation hitch is an advanced technique with some specific applications. I would highly recommend practicing in a controlled and safe environment many times and seeking qualified instruction before using it in a high consequence situation. Do any of you have experience with the equivocation hitch or other leave no gear behind ghosting techniques? 
let us know about them in the comments. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to support us. For more information, you can go to our website at www.shortguysbetaworks.com. Click the thumbnail if you want to check out last week's video I mentioned regarding taglines and double ropes for rappelling, or you can check out our rock climbing safety series. We'll see you next week and keep on getting more out of that big outside.